You really want to play me as small as that thing you call a payment stick? Mm. I knew you'd be back for another debrief. You love to snoop, don't you? I am the First Lady Victoria Franklin, and since I'm the only one with half a brain around here, I'll be delivering the details. Please don't interrupt. We've got a lot to review. I am furious. I know, I know. Once she lost her press secretary job to my husband's latest whore, Ellie, Diane couldn't leave well enough alone and called herself exposing Hunter and Ellie's affair. Did you rinse after you swallowed? Or no? If she's not careful, she'll end up like yes. all the others who stand in my way. Hey. Meanwhile, at the residence, right. Priscilla is suspicious of uh, me and her fine-ass husband, Sam. I guess she has good reason. What the? He was caught leaving my private bathroom. It was hard to miss. <laughs> Worried about the wife? I decided to make yeah. Sam the head of my security detail. My wife will have no I just can't resist stirring up a little discord between them. And he'll be in. You Me. Soon enough. Mm, go on to the car. After gathering her grandchildren, Gail and Jason, yes, for some well, the reprogramming at the We're family the farm, house. my monstrous mother met her match with Jason. <laughs> he reveals himself to be a cold-blooded killer by killing her. The bodies keep piling up around that one. Max, can you hear me? Speaking of bodies, Secret yes. Service agent Max, who Money? should be in a body bag, was patched up and picked up by Dirty Diane and Bobby. Hunter and Donald sure have a funny way of tying up loose ends. But as long as Max is alive, we're all in danger. I want it to go away. The butler's bullheaded son, Barry, gets himself arrested for kidnapping the mother of his missing daughter, Ruth, who's in a cult called the Rakadushis. All right, hands behind your back. Ruth decides to press charges, but his girlfriend, Sharon, bails him out with a pile of money that had mysteriously appeared under Barry's dresser. Sharon, that's not my money. Richard is still reeling from Nancy's revelation that Picky was her legitimate son. Richard refuses to pay for Picky's funeral, so Nancy goes begging to Priscilla, like the peasant that she is. Take this check. Richard makes it his mission to find out who the father was. But if Nancy kept the secret for this long, why would she tell him now? Hmm? Richard attempted to kick Nancy out of the house and move on with the maid at work. Ooh. But Nancy won't give up her man without a fight. Since my useless husband can't keep his bitches in line, I have to take matters into my own hands and remind Ellie of her place, which is far, far away from the White House. You don't have a clue, do you? Of course, Hunter can't see past his pants and tries to double dip back with Ellie. So I'm forced once again to save his ass by stopping her from taking his underwear right out the front door. You think I get a thank you? But that would be too much like right, and, well, Hunter doesn't know the meaning of the word. Not thanking you for shit. Just when I thought I could finally get some rest, I make a gruesome discovery in Jason's room. The deceased body of our sweet little maid, Jean. We have a problem. Hunter and I finally find something we can agree on. Figuring out what the hell is wrong with Jason. Have you guys thought about a plan? Lily finds herself in Bobby's cabin right after a fight with Donald. She then gets into cahoots with that oh, bitch Diane and her plot to take us down. I thought she knew better than to hang with the help, but oh well. They come up with the harebrained scheme to send Lily home to spy on my administration from the inside. Straight. Little do they know, Donald moved his boy toy in, Kyle, who's hell-bent on taking them all down. And Bobby, well, he's not quite ready to let go of his new boo. Just man the hell up, okay? Meanwhile, Hunter and I interrogate Jason about the dead girl in his room and the sword in his trunk. Now, I knew he was a creep, but even I couldn't predict him confessing to killing three people. Oh my God. Including Hunter's dusty hoe, Denise. I told Hunter that little hell spawn has to go. 
but he goes soft like he always does and allows him to stay at the White House for now. Let me know when it's time for lunch. Back at the pharmacy, Sharon convinces Kareem to hire extra hands to deflect the tension between them. The new hire, Dale, is nice enough, but Sharon is more interested in the new cult compound that moved into his hometown. Can this be the headquarters of the elusive Rakadushis? Wow, what a small world. As if things weren't bad enough, pathetic Priscilla takes it upon herself to go digging through Jason's room. Hmm. She doesn't find Jean, but Jason has her on his radar. What are you doing in my room? If she's not careful, Thank you. she'll end up being victim number four. Are you keeping up? Good. After Alan walks in on Kyle and Donald sharing an intimate embrace, Kyle tells Alan exactly what he'll do if he tells a soul. I want to stay alive, sir. Seems like Donald's secret life is becoming anything but secret. We already know Barry can't keep up with one child. Now Sharon is pregnant with baby number two. But Kareem won't step away and even offers to take care of Sharon and her little bastard. I love that child like it's my own if it means I get to love you too, Sharon. And when Barry comes tripping, well, it makes Sharon less inclined to be his baby mama and closer to Kareem. Priscilla finally gets what she's looking for when she finds Jean's body. I wish I could have seen the look on her face, but I was busy seducing Sam. My pleasure is Priscilla's pain since my Satan spawn recorded the whole thing and played it for her. Oops. Things are heating up fast. Ooh. Kyle pays a visit to Miss Laura in the hospital to make sure she never speaks again. He also sees to it that Diane meets her demise, but not before she rats out Bobby and company as her co-conspirators. We need to get out of here and get out of here right now, all right? Kyle finally gets the drop on Max and Bobby and bombs their hideout. Guess he's actually good for something. Speaking of not being dead, Ragadushi Ruth pops up saying she'll return Callie in exchange for the cash that Sharon used to bail Barry out. Where's my daughter? Barry agrees to meet her and walks right into getting kidnapped or recruited by the Ragadushis. All this and he still doesn't get his daughter back. Ugh, what a moron. Richard and Sharon enlist Dale to track them down, but they end up upside down on the side of the road. Richard and Dale make it out with barely a scratch, but poor Sharon ends up losing her baby. I'm not gonna lose you twice. And lovesick Kareem sees this as his moment to propose. It's that one. <laughs> it's this hand. Yeah, it's that one. As if I don't have enough on my plate, my father summoned Hunter and I to his deathbed. If I know one thing, nothing good can come from this meeting. That big brute Bobby, who survived the drone strike at the cabin, ends up in a remote safe house with Max and his female, Bestie. But all he can do is think about Lily, who learns that he was hired by Donald all along. Ooh. She sets up a meeting in a cheap hotel to confront him, not knowing that Kyle is tracking her every move. Okay, I could be there in an hour. Mm -hmm. What a bimbo. Jason sets his sight on his fourth victim, none other than Hunter's side piece, Ellie. I must admit, he's taking care of these holes better than any Secret Service agent. I would thank the little brat if I wasn't so disgusted by him. Right when he gets his hands around her thotty throat, here comes Alan to save her ass. Who the hell is this, Ellie? Oh! And you think that would send the little bitch packing, but no, she decided to show her face and ass at the White House the next day. I've had just about enough of her and Hunter's so-called romance. So I reminded the twat where she'd end up if she kept playing with me. If I see you in this damn place again, I swear you're dead. After going missing, Barry turns up on his dining room table with more drugs in his system than a hippie at Woodstock. Then Ruth pops up at the hospital with no Callie and offering no explanation. But when Ruth secretly cries for help, will Nancy and Richard risk their lives to get her away from the Rakadushi? Damn. Please. Where was I? Oh, yeah. 
Priscilla is like a dog with a bone trying to dig okay. up what really happened to Jean. I was having too much fun torturing her about what you went down between be Sam and I. But ultimately, I, I decided to send her packing. I think the bitch that I am wants you to leave. She couldn't stand the heat in my kitchen anyway. I finally drag Hunter away from his harem to pay a visit to my father. I had to stand there like a teenager caught after curfew as he berated us. Not only did he know about every indiscretion, but he had a warning for the two of us. Shape up or die. It's a good speech. Hunter seems to think it's a joke, but I know my father, and I don't plan on dying anytime soon. we cover a lot of ground. So glad you could keep up. Now, buckle up constituents, season three is on the horizon.